The man who has been named a person of interest in a missing woman's case in Clay County has pleaded not guilty, but on an unrelated charge. So Corey Benderham was reportedly doing work on Susan Malden's home in Clay County. It is believed she requested her deposit back and she has been missing ever since. But that is a separate situation in Clay County. Today he's in Duval County for construction fraud charges. Arlana Harris was in court today. She joins us live with more. Good afternoon and Bindram's appearance this morning was very quick. His lawyer said that they had already received the uh, discovery from the prosecutors and the judge said that by the time his next appearance comes around, which will be on February 6th, he'll be able to set this case for trial. But, you know, from what I saw when Bindram walked into the courtroom this morning, he had this sheepish look on his face. We've got video for you. You can see it yourself and you can see that his face is pointed down as he's walking into the courtroom to face the judge and he did plead not guilty. He's charged with one count of forgery or uttering a forged instrument. And according to the affidavit, the victim contracted Benderham to do a bathroom remodel, paying him $1,500 up front with $5,000 more to be given once the job was done. But Bitterham was reportedly in the victim's home when he left with the job unfinished and never came back. And soon the victim realized that that $5,000 had been taken from his account. The affidavit alleges Bitterham found his check, left the house, forge the victim's signature and cash it at a Vistar bank on 103rd Street in Jacksonville. He was reportedly even caught on camera signing and depositing the check. Now, mind you, this is not Benderham's only construction fraud related incident. Benderham is on law enforcement's radar in St. John's County. He's accused of taking a victim's money for a job and never returning to do that job. And then, of course, like you mentioned, in Clay County, he's a person of interest in the case of a woman who went missing after asking Benderham for her deposit back for a job she had contracted him to do. But for now, he has only been arrested for forgery. And again, he did plead not guilty today. Here outside of the Duval County Courthouse, I'm Lana Harris, First Coast News on your side.